Hello, hello, hello. So a bit different this week, um, doing the astrology readings. Um, I'm bored to say, <laughs> very bored to say, that I'm once again, uh, I got taken ill. Um, I had to cancel a couple of readings today and I'm really grateful uh, for the two ladies um, who were you know under totally understanding and I, I just I hate to have to cancel readings but this morning um, during the day there was absolutely no way I could have done it um, I'd had a migraine and um, yeah and I was sick with it and everything so um, that was yesterday and obviously today you know you're just still recovering and also had other issues going on so anyway enough of all of that drab stuff it's like I'm so sick of it um, Greg said, oh, I need to put out a, sig a, um, a signal to get some healing sent to you. And I said, no, 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 please, no, I cannot, cannot bear always being ill. I cannot bear it um, because you end up feeling a victim all the time. And I know you guys are so wonderful and you would not have ever thought that. I know that it's me. It's my stuff. <laughs> so um, so um, I didn't want to let anybody down. You know, because as I'm, I'm kind of feeling a bit better, I thought I'd do the astrology readings, but it would have to be this way. OK, so, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I didn't want to be seen on camera and things like that. And I couldn't go live. All right. So. So, yeah, you've got this. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're going to be doing astrology readings from the 20th. This is for the 20th through to the 26th of March 2023. I've got to say that there's some amazing things happening absolutely amazing things happening so um as we all know um the banks are closing okay uh, we've got four sales signs up on two maybe three i think there's three banks that's just in our small town of Hern bay okay so there's you know that is happening and so you know they'll probably kind of say that it was uh they'll probably make some excuse anyway but yeah it is uh it is uh, it's bad um but it's not it's not bad it's good um you know it, it's a transition transition is happening and um i can't actually wait i can't wait for it all to you know kick into the new financial system um and i can feel it i can feel it coming so um i'm hoping to be well enough and so is greg for tomorrow's global predictions because there's a hell of a lot to look look into because there's a lot happening so thank you my darling for my wonderful himalayan candle that he um that he got me amongst other bits and pieces for my birthday and um, so yeah and thank you for all the birthday messages um i appreciate them ah oh, so um so obviously usually i ask you for your sun moon and rising signs and obviously i can't do that today so i thought we would do this so um i'm going to put um it's gonna be all by chance so <laughs> earth signs air signs water signs my sharpies running out good job i bought new sharpies love my sharpies um and um air signs water signs fire signs okay so let's have a look and see so I'm going to mix these up, okay, let's mix these up and, okay, all right, so they're well and truly mixed up, so I'm not even going to look, let me do that, and I can't even look, okay, so the first one out is going to be air signs, guys, the next one out will be, let's go for the middle, will be earth signs, the next one out will be fire signs and then obviously then it will be the water signs so that's what we're going to be doing okay um so let me see if i can put these so that you can still see them um let me put them over there so people can see what i'm going to be doing Okay, so I do tend to use various different decks and you can see what I see. Now, I the way I work is I take triggers from, um, I know that my card's inside out, backwards, forwards. This is my Bible deck. 
okay what i call the bible deck and it's a good idea to always have a deck that you know inside out backwards forwards okay that is your bible deck it can make you a bit complacent though so it is a good idea to swap it and change it around with other decks or to add uh, cards onto it now this deck is called the cosmic tarot and this is by norbert loesch let me see if his name's here um let me get it there. Norbert Loesch. I don't know if you can see that. Norbert Loesch. Okay, the Cosmic Deck. And I highly recommend these as a first deck. Um, they're really, really good um, because they've got the astrology signs already done. And mine are so bashed up and battered that I've actually painted the outsides black. They're actually usually white. <laughs> but I've changed those, so they are my Bible deck. Okay. Um, so they're the, they're the ones I mainly use. And then I use some um, some emotional cards. And these are the Enlightenment deck by um, Chuck Spizzano, S-P-E-Z-Z-A-N-O. And uh, these are brilliant cards. Um, I will do a video on how you can use these and what you can do because uh, there's loads of things. You can separate these into three sections and you can put, um, it, you can dissect what's going on in your head, your heart and the root of the situation. And you can pick someone else like a partner or someone you've fallen out with, what's going on in their head, what's going on in their heart and the root of it all for them. And you can find out what's really, the, you know, the, the problem okay so they're really really good cards but i wouldn't buy them in english in english they're about 300 pounds now um silly money okay because they stopped printing them okay so um you know these you can buy in german or in any other language and what i've done is all you have to do is just tip x out that you know those kind of tip x sticks i'll show you just some of these you know tip x stick um you just go over the you know the words in in the foreign and just write it in there or you know sometimes I, I disagree with the word it doesn't really make sense to me I, I make my own kind of feeling up um and so sometimes you don't even need that um but if you ever do that and you wanted a translation in english i will send it over to you because i've written them all out okay so um so yeah i would you know these cards are brilliant cards but obviously they are expensive in english Okay, um, there is Chuck spazano has got another deck called the, I think these are the healing deck. Okay, this is the healing deck. So these are pretty nice as well. Okay, um, and they've got kind of like the healing element. And then they've got what's the issue? What's the issue going on? So the issue cards are like this, you know, feeling unwanted, depression, not my job addiction you know they're very direct in adequacy judgment rebel jealousy littleness guilt so you know the issue cards are there um so I, I separate them and see you know if somebody wants to know what's going on in their relationship we can really look into it and find out what the score really is okay so i love doing love life readings i have done group love life readings so group uh, couples love life readings um you know and they've helped loads because it's kind of like a, a counseling session but what the tarot does and what the psychic kind of um does is you can tune in to their actual behavior their feelings okay you can get into their energy um and you can get into your energy um and so you know you can to me it's like nobody's feeling picked on really because you can feel it you know so it does work very well anyway so so yeah i'm going to be using those cards the other cards i'm probably going to use are called the gilded tarot and that is by cairo marchetti okay the gilded tarot um and these cards are very pretty cards okay very pretty cards it's possible to get the death card. Um, the death card doesn't mean death, it means a transition. Okay, you've got the nine of cups, the eight of pentacles, you know. So these are really pretty cards. So I do like those. Yeah, I do like those, they're lovely. Um, and the other cards I use are the oh nearly knocked that completely off then. And um, the light seers, okay, by Chris Ann. 
by Chris Ann. Okay, the light sears, they're very good as well. Um, you know, they're pretty cards. So, yeah, even their death card, it's called Rebirth instead. So, yeah. So, they're nice. So, just in case you was wondering what cards I'm using, um, that's what it is. Okay. So, um, I wanted to say a big, big thank you um, to the two new Patreons. Okay, so here's my existing Patreons. And I haven't added the new person on yet. Um, but, um, yeah, so these are my lovely Patreons. Um, we've got Julie um, R. We've got Julie R. And we've also got Alicia, just um, Alicia R. Okay. So Julie R and Alicia R, okay, that I need to add here. So I'm going to do that now, actually. While we're here, let me add that. Um, Julie R and Alicia R. There. So let me save that. Save. And then I'll scroll that. Yeah, so um, Patreon um, is like a membership, if you like. Um, each tier you get something, um, you know, and as you get up the tiers, you get more of some things. So um, the most expensive one I've got, which, I, but I am going to be adding another one on top of that, um, is $33.33. And with that, you get a 20 minute recorded reading you get um, a mystery gift sent to your home every month. Sorry, the readings every month as well. Um, so mystery gifts sent to your home. You get um, access to all the videos and classes that I teach. Um, you get to look at those. And you also get an invite to the once a month um, meeting that we do where we what we do is we kind of all do readings for each other. So I obviously do a little reading for everybody um, and everybody does readings for each other. So yeah, it's really nice. And we get together and have a giggle and yeah. So um, that's always once a month. It's the last Thursday of every month. Um, so yeah, um, if you wanted to join them, the, the membership, the Patreon membership is um, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. Greg's also got Patreon, so if you wanted to support Greg, he's got some different um, different things for different tiers as well. He's doing a monthly meditation for everybody as well um, on his platform. Um, and it is uh, patreon.com forward slash in 5D. Okay, he does a, he does a lot. Um, you know, he's done so many videos, thousands, thousands of videos, thousands of articles. And um, yeah, he's uh, he works very hard. So yeah, just wanted to kind of um, you know let you know about Greg as well. So it, here it's coming down now. So patreon.com forward slash in 5D, or you can go to in 5D.net. I do get one free. Ah, oh, actually, that is different. Okay, so he's his t-shirts are even better than that. Um, his t-shirts are down to $24.99. $24.99. If you are one of his Patreons, they are only $19.99. So, yeah, um, if you haven't seen his tie-dye t-shirts, it's worth a look. It's amazing, okay? They really are. They take a lot. He's very talented at them. You know, the uh, the chakra ones, you know, with all of the colors on them. He's also got elements, um, you know, there's just so many. So, yeah, he's... Um, He's uh, really talented at that. So, yeah, um, that is in, in 5D.net if you wanted to go over and make the most of that. $24.99 um, over on his um, on his um, website. Yeah. Um, so if you wanted to see some of his articles, um, then go over to in 5D.com. Um, and there are thousands of articles on uh, metaphysical um, esoteric, anything, you know, you can think of, you know, there is articles about it, okay, it's like a, like a, um, a huge encyclopedia of psychic information, um, anything that you could want, you can just put it into the search engine and you'll find it there, so 
yeah, there's a lot of other readers as well um, who write articles. That's so not just Greg. Um, there's lots of other readers as well, um, readers and psychics. Yeah. So yeah, it's worth a go. Worth a go um, going over there. So we're going to start out with the air signs. Okay. So the air signs are going to be. We start off with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And then the earth signs, we're going to be doing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, and the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right. So let me get the right banner up. All the air signs. Okay, so this is Aquarius for the 20th through to the 26th of March. Okay, so let's have a little look and see. I'm going to give them a, a good shuffle first of all. So let's see what my guides want to say about this coming week. What's going to be happening for Aquarius? Okay. I then stop shuffling after I've given them a good shuffle. And then I shuffle three times. One, two, and three. I'm quite simple. <laughs> I don't cut the cards or anything. It's just straight from the top. Okay. Okay, so the beginning of the week, we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay. Um, so what I'm seeing here, this is my kind of like needing a spark in your life, needing something to, you know, get your interest, something to make you feel as if you, you know, you've got, you're alive, you know, and you've got something good going on. Um, you then have this feeling of maybe rejection, somebody making you feel as if, you know, you're perhaps working harder than anyone else, um, maybe in a relationship or maybe in life, you know, it's like, um, I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel as if you are. Um, you then have the three of swords. Three of swords is the most sarcastic card in the deck, sarcastic. Um, it basically indicates it's like, get on with it. You know, just do it. You know, um, stop dilly-dallying about and, and just get on with it. So, so looking at the three together, that's what it means. I feel as if there is um, maybe something that you've got to actually get organized and um, start to maybe stand up for yourself, you know, or if you're in a situation that you don't like, um, this is probably saying, well, if you don't like it, change it, sort it out. You know, there are ways around it. You know, um, you know, sometimes we think we've got no choices in life, but actually we do. Sometimes we can choose ourselves. OK, um, so that's what I see the beginning of the week. OK, so the middle of the week, the two of wands, Prince of Pentacles and the nine of cups. OK, so this one is my planning. This is the Taurian energy plodding, plodding along, getting on with things. And this one's reuniting. So when I look at the three together, um, I feel as if there's a very steady, secure person around you who is, um, I feel as if they are trying very hard to, you know, um, plan things, um, organize, maybe a get together, um, or maybe you're the sensible one trying to organize a get together. Um, and it doesn't seem to be, you know, happening, you know, it just feels as if, you know, um, everybody really needs to plan further ahead or, you know, um, make make plans, you know, um, commit, commit to the situation. So, yeah, it just feels as if it just needs to um, be sorted out. OK, um, yeah. Um, this also is um, I'm picking up some paperwork or form filling documents, that type of thing as well um, with this card here. This is always my reuniting with somebody that you know very well. This, this could be a family member. This could be an ex-partner or a friend that used to be close to you. Um, but um, there seems to have been some changes and things with that. Um, so, yeah, plans to reunite um, after there being a bit of distance. OK, distance doesn't have to be falling out, by the way, guys. OK, oh, we've got the sun card. 
we've got the travel card and we've got the boundaries card okay um, I'm going to move these because um, they are actually bugging me. <laughs> it looks untidy. <laughs> so I'm going to put them over here. Okay. So, yeah, this to me feels, you know, it's just a happiness card. It's the, the card that says I've, I'm joyful, I'm happy, um, I'm in a good place. You know, this is the travel card, moving on, travel, getting on with things. Um, but that says that there might be a hold up or, you know, things might be a bit difficult. You know, it's like, well, I, I want to go, but I've got to be sensible or, you know, I want to go. But there seems to be some some things I've got to deal with first. OK, um, but there's a boost of confidence here, a nice, happy feeling um, about travel. Now, the eight of wands can also be about vehicles, um, transport. OK. With the Sun card, it can indicate there's been some good news regarding um, some sort of car issues or transport issues. It's actually turned out better than expected there. OK, I do feel as if you are putting up some sort of boundaries, more boundaries than you've done before. You know, you do feel as if, you know, maybe you've been allowing people to get away with a bit, bit too much or, you know, maybe family members have been kind of um, pushing those boundaries and making you feel as if, if you know I'm backed into a corner here um, and uh, don't feel as if I can say no um, but I do feel as if you're going to be finding your voice and uh, maybe uh, saying no a little bit more okay so that's what I'm seeing with the the week so let's have a look at the emotional cards okay so we're going to use these cards so let's see what emotional lessons are being learned at um, you know, for Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got the true love card. Okay. True love. So this is indicating that there is, um, it's like being ready to be unconditionally loved. If you are in a relationship, then this means that, you know, this situation could be um, a very good situation that you're in you know this is finding each other again you know seeing each other really seeing each other for who they are um you know obviously it's good because we're doing all of Aquarius uh, we can't really say um pinpointing it to one person um so for some of you this will be you know a lovely feeling of connectedness okay being in a lovely um positive energy within a reading within um a relationship or it's um it's a call out really it's a call out for that um just want to turn over another card to go with it okay so just uh, bear with me a minute okay so i'm going to pull out that one so this can this obviously is to do with commitment okay so could it be that there is um Maybe a uh, partnership that is needing a little bit more commitment and um, somebody needs to kind of step up and, uh, you know, um, you know, offer um, offer that this is going to be it, that, that, you know, you know, they choose you and you choose them and and everything seems to be um, far better than it has been. OK, now for people who aren't in a love life situation, this can also be a friendship. This can also be um, a family member who actually chooses you, maybe above other people sometimes. It's like, no, I choose you. My loyalties are with you. The commitment is there, okay? So it is about commitment energy. It's about love energy. It's about partnerships, okay? So that is going to be the lesson um, that you guys are going to be learning, um, Aquarius, okay? So, so here we go. We're going to be moving on now to Gemini's. I'm just going to take a sip of drink. Okay, so you can see all the lovely Patreons I've got there. Um, I really respect and um, appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Okay, <clears throat> so Gemini's, let's have a look for you. 
Let's tune in. So Gemini's 20th through to the 26th. Okay. So the lover's card. Okay. The princess of wands. And the five of cups. Okay. So looking at these three cards together, I'm seeing someone who's feeling a bit spoiled. They're feeling a bit like, do you know what? It's my turn. I deserve more than I'm getting. You know, this is what my life is and, and I want more. OK, now this could be linking to a relationship. Um, again, you know, we've got a relationship energy. There's always whenever I do these readings, there's always an underlying message that is happening throughout all 12 um, of the signs. So it's quite interesting. OK, so we'll see if this is it. OK, um, but yeah, this is to do with relationships. Obviously, it doesn't have to be love life, um, you know, because some of you it won't be love life. OK, but we've got the isolation card, feeling isolated, maybe feeling put out. Maybe we're isolating ourselves or maybe other people are isolating us. Either way, it's an uncomfortable feeling I'm seeing here. Um, and a complication that maybe doesn't need to be there. Um, so no wonder this person is feeling out of sorts. Now, for some of you, it might be you're playing this role. You're the one that's feeling out of sorts. But it could be that someone close to you is feeling um, put out. OK, you know, so um, it all depends on each individual person. OK, but feeling quite isolated and alone, you know, that can lead to depression, that can lead to kind of low feeling. Um, so there is a need to try and, um, you know, um, put out some positive vibes um, to this to see if we can change this around. Um, and if you're feeling isolated with one group of people, then maybe push on into, you know, um, you know, spending more time with the other group of people. So if your family making you feel like this, then maybe push on into your friendships or um, if you're, you know, face to face, like people are making you feel like that, then push on into spending more time online with your online friendships. Okay, so that's what we see for the beginning of um, the beginning of the of the next week. So as we move into the middle of the week, we've got the Empress, the Hierophant or Hierophant, and the Chariot. Okay, so um, so this basically is indicating that there is a spiritual energy around here. You can see he's looking through his third eye. He's got tarot cards in his hand, but there's lots of people here. Um, who've got different religious belief systems. We've also got the chariot, which is about kind of sometimes running away or getting away from things. Um, but other times it can be about, you know, someone just looking at things in black and white. It's either good or bad. There's no in between, good or bad. Sometimes that can come from the religion side of things because religion says, you know, this is either good or bad. OK, so there may be a bit of an issue around this. And we do have the mother card here. So this could be linked with a mother, a mother figure or somebody who is nurturing or trying to mother too much, trying to uh, manipulate or care too much, you know. Um, so there could be a little bit of a complication going on here. You know, it could be that you you believe in something and maybe someone else in the family or friendships don't believe that and are, you know, feeling agitated by your decisions and um, making you feel bad about uh, about that also seeing you know with the chariot card this can also mean travel plans and uh, so there may be um another um another scenario here going off about traveling and um, having to look at things in black and white and um read up on things to make sure that you've got the best deal possible okay making sure that everything is going to be going on that's uh, that you want to go on okay so there you go that is the middle of the week 
So by the end of the week, we've got the Devil card. We've got the Seven of Swords. And we have the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, so Prince of Pentacles here can be somebody with a bit of a sting in their tail. Somebody who's reacting in a certain way um, that may be not thinking first, just reacting. Okay, this can be about protection. It can also be about, um, you know, not feeling very well or feeling as if you just need a bit of TLC or somebody close to you may be feeling that. We've got the devil card, which can mean mischievousness on a light hearted level. But it could mean, especially because it's got the protection card. So Gemini's, maybe you just need to shield up a little bit more. You know, if you've been feeling any doubts or any frustration or you know any Debbie Downer days any of that um what happens is that the darker side of things just wants to make it worse um they are needing to feed off um other people's misery other people's negativity um other people's um fears you know all of that um they love it okay so let's try not to give them anything um anything to to feed off okay and um, so if, if you are feeling in a negative way um, or in a low way, um, then give it three seconds and try and replace it with something positive to say. OK, so uh, there's a lot going on at the moment. So like we said, there's a, a lot of the banks are closing. Yes, but there's a new financial system coming along. Um, and maybe um, you might say things like, um, you know, like like for me trying to get a doctor's appointment, I called my doctor's appointment. Um, the the phone lines open at eight o'clock. I phoned at um, a few seconds after eight o'clock, and all of the appointments were supposedly gone. Um, so you know, I didn't moan about that, but I've got to put something positive in its place. Um, you know, sometimes there is a better way um, of being seen. Maybe I've got to go to a different clinic. Anyway, what I'm saying is sometimes, you know, I'm trying to give you scenarios. Does that make sense of things? Um, try not to give this any energy. We don't want to. Um, yeah, so, um, so, so sting in their tail, somebody who's being a little bit short with you, a little bit kind of, um, you know, it's like they are assuming the worst, okay? Um, and uh, this particular character sometimes does. So maybe if somebody is you know, trying to create a problem um, and you're saying, I'm just not biting. Um, I'm going to protect myself. Um, so keeping on high vibrational energy is the key at the end of the week um, for Gemini's. OK, um, so let's have a look and see what emotions are going on, what lessons um, are being learnt by Gemini's this week. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm seeing um, the leadership card. Okay, so the leadership card is indicating that maybe it's time to take charge. You know, who do you want on your journey? Who do you want to come with you? You know, um, what sort of life do you want to live? And who do you want to live it with? Okay, so sometimes we need to kind of own up and maybe tell the people that we really care about how we feel or what we want okay um and so the lesson is is taking charge of your future okay and uh yeah emotionally knowing what it is that you want okay so there you go that's what i see um going on for gemini's all right, so I'm going down to the next one, which is my love, my forever love, my husband, um, Greg Prescott. He's a triple Libra. Okay, so let's see what is going on with him and with other Librans. I've also got Libra rising, so that is in my charts as well. Um, so let's have a look about Libras.
okay right so the eight of cups the two of pentacles and the ten of swords which looks a very scary card but it's not okay so thinking about swords swords are thought so all of these swords represent all thoughts coming at you other people trying to tell you what to do they're trying to sh you know shove their advice at you you know keep it going you're in a, if this is somebody in a straitjacket and you know when you you end up blurting something out and answering back and you think oh dear perhaps i shouldn't have done that i didn't feel to what i was going to say and that person got it all with all barrels okay <laughs> so yeah sometimes it can be um, we can be a little bit too outspoken but it's usually because we we can't keep it in anymore um so yeah there seems to be some outspoken words either by you or somebody close to you this indicates stepping onto new ground and um, being a little bit nervous if you have a look at his face he looks a little bit nervous okay but you know sometimes when we're stepping onto a new pathway and we're taking a different kind of route you know it is a little bit nerve-wracking um so that's also can mean training learning um stepping onto new ground okay there um, within a job or within a money situation and then here we've got the you know feeling as if i've got to let go and walk away from a situation that you know maybe isn't um a happy one and maybe we feel as if we need you know maybe more time you know we're not quite ready to make that transition okay so when i look at these cards um there is some something building okay and this is this is building up within um each person that is linked to this so as this is building up um you know it, it's like um maybe it's making somebody move on move forward okay maybe you've decided to let go and walk away because of this outspoken behavior you know or maybe you've been outspoken and you've had to let go and walk away from um this situation you know enough is enough um i can't take it anymore okay um, and with the training this is kind of i'm doing something different you know i've never done this before you know this is new to me um so there may be outspoken words about stepping forward and the feeling is i'm i've had enough okay so that is the beginning of um yeah beginning of the week um of the 20th through to the 26th of march so got my self-employed card or my i'm the boss card we've got the um isolation emotional isolation and that card just says that uh no, we've got the Soul King card back, okay? So there's somebody who is throwing their toys at the pram because they want what they want. That is the um, isolation card. And we also have the self-employment card or, you know, to do with bosses and money and um, or somebody who wants to take charge of money. So looking at these three cards together, I would say that there seems to be a little bit of stress over money matters, over finance finances um, um, maybe bosses are feeling a little bit kind of anxious you know or somebody who is in charge of the money situation there seems to be you know a bit of nail biting time there somebody wants to withdraw away and not deal with it you know isolate themselves from the situation um you know a childlike energy is around this you know um i want what i want but i'm you know it's not going to happen uh, so yeah there's a lot of sulking energy around this and uh, kind of a bit, bit of fear uh, regarding finances now i will say that um you know because of the banking system and we are expecting that there's going to be some big changes i would would like to look into this and see if we can see um anything on the um, global prediction side of things so i'm going to get the um other cards out the ride awake cards and see if we can see um that this is linked to anything like that okay so now um you have to forgive me these cards 
I've um, I've been um, learning a different way of reading them, a completely different way, um, and I have used um, it's a tarot by J. I can't say her actual name, and um, you know, and other bits and pieces. So yeah, it's different wording. Okay, so I'm going to tune in now and ask what's going on with the banking system with the financial system um, this week 20th through to the 26th of March. Okay, let's see. So the full card can indicate sudden, something happening suddenly, sudden changes. Okay, we then got the star. Now the off-worlder situation, um, this could be, you know, maybe the off-worlder technology um, is going to be kicking in. Maybe we, you know, this is the quantum financial system. Um, maybe there is something different, um, you know, about, you know, the the financial side of things. You know, we did say that, um, you know, um, we were needing to get some help, okay, from, you know, those, uh, um, those, you know, new energies, the positive energies there. And uh, this is kind of like a feeling of being, of given up. It's like, that's finished, that's done. Repair, you know. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be some big financial changes, it looks like, there um, to do with the financial system. Yeah. But there will be victory as we move forward. There will be victory and things will be moving on in a very positive way. You know, we have to deal with things. We have to deal with them head on. We can't carry on the way that we, we have been. Okay. And there we go. Justice. We will get our justice. You know, where, you know, it's no longer that the richer get richer as the poorer get poorer. Okay. That's all changing. So that's very positive cards for the financial system um, actually changing for the good. So, yeah. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. So here we go, Libra. So the end of, yeah, this is the end of the week, okay? So we've got the Lovers Heart, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Prince of Cups. So again, we've got somebody with a sting in their tail. We've got the Lovers Card, which is um, love life issues or emotional issues, relationship issues. And in the middle here, we have um, a dilemma, a crossroads, you know, a bit of a gamble. So, you know, there's a few ways of looking at this. There's a few scenarios that I'm seeing here. OK, so it does seem to be a very um, touchy situation um, linked with um, a relationship. There seems to be some um, cloudiness, OK, of judgment. Um, I'm sensing that somebody is being honest. Um, and this person is feeling as if there is um, something to be jealous about or insecure about. Um, and because this person isn't being honest, it's making the whole situation worse. Now, this person could be um, keeping things to themselves, you know, until they decide something. But what's happened, I think it's going to come back and sting them in the bum if they don't own up and talk about about what is going on, the process of their thought pattern. I don't think it's going to go well for them. Okay, so this is, if this is you who is trying to, um, you know, um, go through the processes of, um, you know, I don't know, making your mind up maybe about a friendship or a relationship, and as you're distancing yourself, um, there is more and more rejection energy going on. Um, and insecurity, which is building up, making things worse. So, um, you know, it's a gamble. What do you do? OK. Also seeing a financial situation, um, a financial decision that you're needing to make. Um, now, here you can see uh, that he has whatever he's been doing with his money. It's like it's not it's not ideal. OK. It's not earning much, it's not earning as much as he could be or she could be. Um, and there's two more pentacles here. So what do you do? Do you carry on doing the same thing with your money? Um, you're going to get the same results. Or do you do something a bit different this time? 
with your finances, with your money? What do you do? Okay, so there's big decisions there about your financial situation. Okay, that's what I see um, for um, for Librans um, for the end of the week. Let's have a look at the emotional um, emotional lessons. We're going to use these cards this time. So these are from the Healer the Healer deck by Chuck Spisano. Okay, so we've got humour, making sure that we keep our sense of humour. Um, you know, how can you keep a sense of humour when everything seems to be crumbling around you or making you feel as if, you know, you've been kind of knocked over a little bit? Rising above problems. Okay, so rising above problems and using humour, okay, is the real key to keeping going, okay? That's gonna be important lessons that you're gonna be learning, Librans, okay, next week, okay? So, there we go. So we've done all the air signs now, so the next one is gonna be earth signs, okay? So let's have a look at the earth signs. So we're going to be doing Taurus, then Virgo, and then Capricorn. Right, I'm going to change decks now. Okay, so we've done the Cosmic deck. So we're now going to go on to the Light Seers deck. Okay, so the Light Seers deck um, there. And I don't do reverse readings. Um, you've probably noticed that. Um, I'm going to show you why I don't. So the reason I've I've put a little kind of like gold bit here so that I know that's the top of the card. So, yeah. Okay, so when you are, you know, someone's kind of doing a reading for you, um, you um, they give you the cards. Okay, so, okay, you shuffle the deck. So, you start shuffling the deck. Shuffle the deck. Shuffle the deck. Am I turning any cards over? No. I might drop one maybe. But shuffle the cards over. It all depends. So if I dropped one, it all depends if somebody picks the card up and puts it in the deck like that, or they pick it up like that and put it in like that. It's too iffy. Before I picked up this deck to shuffle it, somebody might have dropped the deck on the floor, and then they've given it to me, and there's a lot of negativity um, because of upside down cards in here. So you can tell whether um, looking at cards, whether or not there's a, a negative or a positive feel to, to them. You can feel it anyway. You don't need the, neg the upside down version. So anyway, it's just my point of view. Okay. So let's have a look at Taurus. Take another drink. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm also going to get another cushion, if that's okay. <clears throat> right, Taurus, let's give these a good, good shuffle. And then I stop, and then I concentrate on Taurus. So we have the chariot, we have the um, romantic energy, and we have the hermit. Okay, so all right, so I always go to the one I feel has the most um, energy to it, um, and I'm going with the chariot first of all. Okay, so this is to do with travel plans. It's to do with things moving on, um, um, negative, positive, but things are moving forward. Um, there seems to be a, um, a real pull um, in the right direction. Um, this, to me, feels very, very good. Okay, 
um, um, for, for the whole, uh, for us all. It just feels very, very good. This is a very positive kind of energy with this. Um, now, there is somebody around you, okay, at the beginning of the week, um, and they are going to be offering you something. Um, they are maybe a kind gesture or, you know, they might be a little bit confused by, you know, um, you know their feelings and they're offering, you know, out um, something. You know, they're trying to make you see, um, make you see them, okay? Um, they're trying to get your attention. Um, and then you've got this hermit card, which can be that maybe you, maybe you don't want other people noticing you. Uh, you're trying to shield yourself, you know. But, you know, sometimes this happens. The world kind of has other ideas. And so there may be a little bit of, um, you know, changes going on there. But, um, but yeah, um, so... Yeah, the hermit can be to do with your home as well. It can have home energy, okay? So home energy, um, something that needs to be sorted out close to home, you know? Um, are you putting yourself in um, in like a cocoon and, um, you know, you're, you're not ready for maybe a relationship or ready for, you know, people to come towards you and try to get close to you? You know, um, are you looking at things too deeply? You know, um, are you making things more complicated than they need to be? Or are you blowing things out of proportion? You know, what seems to be going on? OK, so, yeah, there's a kind gesture. It's close to home. And we have the, the card, the travel card. Sometimes this can mean somebody who travels for a living is going to be making um, an offer to you. Maybe a romantic gesture here or an offer, um, and uh, you know, you're not sure, okay? Um, maybe there's complications at home, yeah? So, so lots of different scenarios there um, that could be happening, okay? So let's have a look there, okay? So I'm just going to move these cards over there, okay? So we now have, trying to make this, okay, trying to make this so it's kind of level. Okay, so you've got the strength card. The ace of swords. And the king of pentacles. King of pentacles is my self-employed card. It's my card that says I want to be independent. Independent, or I feel it's time to be independent or more independent than I am. Ace of Swords is a brilliant idea. The strength card means that you've got to have courage and strength to pull off that good idea. So somebody out there is going to be thinking about going self-employed or expanding their business if they're already self-employed. It is going to take that strength, okay, but maybe it's time. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the launch of something um, that truly is, um, you know, different to what you've been doing, you know. Um, but, you know, there is going to be talks and discussions, I feel, about, you know, um, for some people it might be about promotion, um, extra responsibility within a job. Um, sometimes it will be, you know, that uh, whatever you're doing, you know, it's like I could be earning money at this, you know. Um, you know, why don't I look into this in more detail? Okay, so yeah, so that is the middle of the week. Okay, so by the end of the week, we have the lovers card. The um, card that says a hard outer shell, protective of their vulnerability. And the Eight of Swords. Um, eight of Swords is um, sometimes it's like how you see yourself is not how other people see you. So you might be saying, I feel trapped or I haven't got any choices. I'm stuck. But in reality, you're not. In reality, you could make your own decisions. You could decide to, to leave 
or to stay. You could decide to make um, a stand, okay, with a situation. Um, you know, this is saying that you've got a hard front on, that you're trying to protect yourself. And again, this may be to do with relationships. So it does indicate looking at the two decks together, you know, two different decks, and we're still picking up on relationship decisions, but we're also picking up on financial decisions. Okay, so so yeah, the lovers card choices, decisions um, about partnerships, about relationships, um, either romantic ones or friendships. Okay, this is very important decisions that are going to be made here. You know, look into your situation and see that you're actually not stuck. You could make better decisions if you really wanted to. It is your choice, okay? It is your choice. You know, sometimes it's good to, you know, put a hard front on and, um, you know, just toughen it out. So, yeah, big things going on for Taurus, okay, around um, next week. All right, so let's have a look emotionally, see what is happening emotionally. Okay, so the sacrifice card. Okay, so sometimes somebody is making the sacrifice, is doing all the sacrificing within a relationship, a friendship, or a family situation. Um, or a work situation, it's like, you know, I'm having to go without so that everybody else can be okay. You know, are you being a martyr or is there someone else around you being a martyr? Is there somebody who needs to grow a pair um, and actually start to say no um, and start to say, actually, I think I deserve better treatment or more respect? Um, so, Self-worth needs to start to kick in, Taurus, okay, with situation, very important. Okay, so there you go, that's what I see for Taurus. Okay, I'm just going to move some of these cards over. Okay, so we've done Taurus. Let's go for Virgos. Virgoans, okay. Okay, I'm going to give them a good shuffle. So, the lover's card. You saw how I shuffled these. The self-employed person or the person who likes to be their own boss. And the most sarcastic emotional card that we have here. Okay, so that is about sarcasm. Okay, have a look at that. And pigs might fly. So somebody is not, um, is kind of feeling as if, you know, they are never going to meet the person they want to meet, you know, that they're doomed and everything's bad in relationships and why do I bother? Um, so real kind of like doom and gloom kind of energy going on here. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's not easy to be around if you're the um, outside person looking in. And if you are the one that is causing this, then you're having to watch um, you bring other people down, okay, by your behavior or your emotions. Okay, so this um, 
means a complication. Complication in a relationship, complication in a friendship, or in a family situation. Okay, somebody who wants to be the boss, somebody who wants to take charge of the situation. Maybe it's time for somebody to take charge of the situation um, rather than it still being a problem or a situation that is just going to get bigger and bigger and affect everybody. And, and yet I get to the point where you just think, do you know what? I don't know if I can be bothered with all this drama. You know, I think I actually want to kind of back out and, um, you know, don't know if it's any good. So, so yeah, there's, um, there's, a, there's a busyness, okay, going on, but this does seem to be something big happening with everybody emotionally. Really, everybody's making choices, making decisions, okay, here. So, you have the Six of Pentacles, which is, you know, money coming in, but making sure that you're ready for it. Emotionally, feeling satisfied, happy, you know, in a good place emotionally. And that is a new job, okay? New job, new money. So there does seem to be um, a good financial change going on here um, with money coming towards you, maybe for the family or around the family. Um, and, uh, you know, a need to be ready, okay? Be prepared. Try not to make it, um, I don't know, make it that, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not going to stay, okay? So sometimes when we get money, we tend to kind of like think, oh, what can I spend this on? And we're already spending it before we've even kind of worked out, you know, what would be the best plan of action, okay? But somebody's definitely starting something new. Um, that is either a self-employed business um, extra responsibility within a job, um, you know, taking on more work somehow, or just new money coming in. Okay, it's a good, good feeling. Okay, that's a lovely feeling emotionally here. Um, feeling content, feeling happy within, you know, your surroundings. That's the gratitude energy. Now, when we live in a great energy every day, what happens is more things come towards us, more things to be grateful for, you know, more happiness, more bliss, more everything. So, you know, that is really paying off for you um, by the middle of next week, Virgos, okay? Right, so, so we've had this card before. Whatever you see your situation being in is actually not how it really is, okay? So if you see yourself as you've got no choices, your hands are tied, you know, um, it, but it could be that actually that isn't the case, but it could be that you're hiding behind fear, you're hiding behind, you know, I can't make choices because, you know, um, shoulda, woulda, coulda kind of energy. We've got somebody who's got a bit of a hard shell on, um, protective of their vulnerability. We have that high, high, high priestess, um, which does look like um, if you tune in to your higher self, you know what you should be doing. You know, deep down you do. Deep down you've got that kind of like, you know, gut feeling of, um, you know, things aren't good, you know. Um, I need to change things up. I'm not sure that I am happy, you know, and that happiness could be within a certain situation or a certain area of your life. Not all areas, but just one. Um, so, yeah, this to me feels as if, you know, follow your high priestess energy or your high priest energy. You know, start to tune in to your highest and best good, okay? If you're feeling unhappy, um, then look for choices, look for decisions that you could be making, you know, and sometimes that means that we have to put a hard front on in order to get past, you know, any obstacles that are coming our way. So there you go. So Virgos, that is your 
um, your reading. Let's have a look at the emotions that goes on um, for you, Virgos. Okay, so here it is. It's the inspiration. Sometimes we have to find our own inspiration um, to change our life. You know, um, there's a lot of times that that we feel in a relationship that you know our partner isn't be isn't doing everything um, for us. They're not ticking all of the boxes that make us happy. But sometimes it's not their job to. You know, it could be their job to make you feel secure, make you feel loved, um, you know, make you laugh. Um, but maybe you need your your other people in your life, family or friends, to stimulate your creativity your inspiration you know um you know the rest of the humor you know so yeah we put a lot of emphasis on you know our partner needs to be the all and everything our partner is you know needs to be the majority of our happiness but our friendships need to also come into play as well okay so that's what i see for virgos Okay, um, let's go for Capricorns. Okay, so another quick drink. Capricorns, Capricorns. All right, let's have a look. Okay, let's hope we don't get the same cards. Do you know what? I'm going to do this. I've not got very big hands, so I actually have to um, have smaller, <laughs> smaller holes. So there you go. So to make sure that we don't get the same cards coming out, um, we know that we've done everything we possibly can to um, to shake things up, haven't we? See, with the whole two decks, it's like my cards that <laughs> won't go around them. <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> okay, do we agree that they have been shuffled? Now I'm going to put the energy in. Okay, so let's give them a really good shuffle. Put the energy because I've just taken the energy out by flicking them. Now I need to put the energy back in. I'm going to give a really good energy boost. And then I'll shuffle for Capricorn. Okay, so they've got a lovely, good amount of energy in. All right, so Capricorn. One. Two. Three. All right, so the Emperor. Emperor can be um, a character who um, is the boss or somebody in authority. We have the emotional choices card. You know, there's so many things I've got on my plate. I need to please everybody. And then we have the two of cups. Now that can mean meeting somebody new, meeting somebody significant. Okay. Um, so does that have to be romantic? No. Um, sometimes that can be a, um, you know, um, an important player in our game of life. You know, the next person to give us the right information, um, ready to go forward uh, with our next level. So looking at these three cards together, I can see an emotional situation, um, you know, building where you feel as if there's a lot of responsibility for other people's happiness that is on your shoulders. Um, and you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed. There's also somebody in authority who is also making you feel as though, you know, you've got to make some decisions and choices about that as well. So, you know, there is a hell of a lot of choices um, um, happening this week for everybody. Um, you know, there seems to be somebody new around you who 
can um, really start to give you um, more um, information. They can start to make you feel special, um, you know, about yourself. Um, if you are kind of single, this can mean meeting somebody who is, um, you know, a partner, potential partner. Um, this can mean, you know, um, a feeling of falling in love, um, falling for a person. This can be a friendship that is growing um, and becoming more together, you know. Um, you know, a business partner is in harmony. Okay, so there's lots of good meanings for the two of cups. But the person in authority is here. Um, so it could be that this somebody in authority is actually, you know, playing a good game with you, you know. Um, it does have the chess piece here. So it could be that they've got a bigger game plan, but maybe they haven't um, released that information yet. Okay, maybe you're sensing it and you've got these emotional choices that you're now needing to make, okay, to make everything you know everything right okay so that is the beginning of the week for capricorns the middle of the week we've got hanged man the four of wands and the nine of pentacles okay so um everything seems to be a bit upside down at the moment everything seems to be a bit on hold but you're not unhappy with it being like that. Maybe the pace of life has actually slowed down um, and you're stopping to enjoy it. You know, this to me is like victory, parties, you know, people recognising that you've done well, that everything is working out the way that you planned it. You know, you're feeling very, very sure of yourself. Um, this it indicates that there's a lot to be thankful for. There's gratitude energy here. There's also lots of different plans um, in the making here of financial ways of earning money. Um, so you in the background or in the past has um, been very good, very proactive in your ability to earn extra money or to have more financial security in your life. So. Um, you know, this is a it's a good feeling, the celebration, achievement. Um, you know, while something's on hold, everything else seems to be moving in the right direction. So, yeah, very good there. So as we move forward to, oh, sorry, that's the middle of the week, isn't it? So by the end of the week, the Justice card, Legalities, the Wheel of Fortune, New energy and the ace of cups okay this is very intriguing okay very very intriguing um the justice and the the wheel of fortune can be about the financial system here legal matters official matters smoke and mirrors okay transfer that is very sleight of hand transfer from one si one system to another the wheel of fortune okay um cogs in the wheels once one cog starts to move it moves the next one moves the next one moves the next one there's a lot of emotions that have risen to the surface so sometimes there can be a lot of fear and a lot of kind of feeling of um you know, anxiety, that sort of thing, because of the changes. So once again, you know, I do think that there is a financial change this week that's going to be um, bigger than, you know, you've, you've had in the past. Um, so, yeah, very, very big, okay? So this is the end of the week, okay? Um, so emotionally, let's get the cards out. So we use these ones. So what emotional situation or lessons are you learning? So learning. Learning. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all about learning. Learning a new way to deal with the situation. Um, you know, actually does say learning. 
um, learning a new way of, of dealing with things, you know, asking for a miracle, you know. Lots of people have said the financial system, financial situation will never change, you know. We're never going to see it change. But, you know, the banks are now showing signs that they have gone bust, you know. That's what they're showing signs of. You know, um, so asking for a miracle, you know, we've all been wanting a fairer system, you know, um, and maybe this is it. This is this is our new change. Um, we're going to have to learn this new system. OK, so there, that's what I see around Capricorns. OK. So. Um, we've done the earth signs and the air signs. So I'm now going to do the fire signs and then after that, the water signs. <clears throat> so we're going to use these cards now. The Gilded Tarot Royale by Cairo Marchetti and Barbara Moore. Okay, so let's give these a really good shuffle because we're getting the new deck in. Um, let me get up the fire signs. So we're doing Leo, then Sagittarius, and then Aries. Okay, so really good shuffle. Now I'm going to concentrate on Leo. So, um, Greg's daughter is a Leo. Um, so, hi, Brittany, if you're watching this. Right, let's have a look. So, we have the Five of Wands, which is the Battles card. We have the Star which is to do with maybe our star family um, can be doing with could be due to do with um, off welders could also be linked to um, you know um, wishes and dreams that we want and then we have the page of Pentacles the page of Pentacles is usually a message about money okay so there seems to be some information about the finances, about the financial situation that we're in. There's creating a little bit of a battle situation. Um, you know, and, um, you know, there may be off-worlders that are, you know, going through. Um, it's, it's, it's like we're not seeing it, but there is a war going on in the background. Our galactic friends are helping us to make things right. Our galactic friends are trying to um, pull everything together um, so that that it's a smooth, um, it's, it's just a smooth beginning, smooth new beginnings. Um, and um, that's not always as easy as it seems um, because, you know, you've got this battle card. So there does seem to be some issues regarding, um, you know, Things that should be easy now, um, li linked with the flip of the switch, I think, to do with the financial situation. Um, there has been a message about some interference here. Okay, so um, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so obviously in your personal life, there's a message about your money situation. Um, it's affecting your dreams, your wishes, things that you want. Um, and there seems to be a bit of an obstacle um, that is going on so getting past the battles okay that uh, lead you to that Mo there's no oh, I'm so sorry the, the cat just decides that he wants to come up here my love there's you no know, room love is there really and you're going to knock everything flying come this way Baba it's just not room sweet I'm so sorry Oh, I think he singed his tail as well. 
I just smelt the singe. <laughs> That's you. You're smelling everything. That's you. You did it. You did it, baby. Let me just give it. No, no, get down. Get down, get down, get down. Get down. I'm getting sweets. I'm sorry. Mo always has to come in and um, make an entrance. So now, here. No, don't get up. Don't get up. Here. Here. We just love pets, animals. Children and pets, that's what they say. It's always the hardest to work with. <laughs> no, I love him. I love him to bits. He's a uh, character. Uh, sorry about that. So anything else? Okay, it's the middle of the week. Still smell the singed tail. Oh dear. Bless you. Sorry, Baba. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles new financial situation. We've got the Eight of Wands, which is go, go, go. Nothing's stopping you. Everything is go. And we then have somebody who is, um, you know, trying to take something, trying to take what is not theirs, okay? So this may be where we were seeing the battles taking place at the beginning of the week, okay, for for Leos, all right? So um, if you can make precautions to not trust everybody in your life, maybe, you know, sometimes we... we do rely so much on you know thinking that everybody's as fluffy and wonderful as we are and sometimes they're not um so you know take precautions see if there's anything that you can do to make um life you know easier and uh and for everything to flow but it's looking very good new money go 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 you know so very very positive cards there um so if you're trying to financially change your situation for the better financially or you've been, you know, wanting to, um, yeah, wanting to, so I'm giving some more, so if, you know, if, um, if you've been, you know, say you've gone for, um, I don't know, a, a, um, a new job or you've decided to start a new business, those cards were very, very positive, okay, for you, very positive. Okay, so we now have the King of Swords. He's the level-headed, um, no, don't get up anymore. Um, level-headed, you know, waste his up to decide what is going on, dissect it and dissect it. Oh, two kings. Um, so we have another king. Um, this, this king, um, they've got a hard front on, tending to be um, tougher than they are. Okay. And the Hierophant. Okay, so this is about spiritual lessons, spiritual teaching, um, learning things about ourselves as well. Okay, so there's two strong energies here, two strong personalities. One of those personalities may be you. Um, it may be that you've decided that you're going to be more methodical um, in your, you know, in your, in your ways, you know. Maybe you've tried to um, please everybody in the past and you realize that actually you can't keep doing that you know um, we can please some of the people some of the time but not all the people all the time um, you've heard that saying I'm sure um, so you know this to me feels as though you know there is parties that are playing the game of life with you um, and there are big big players or big personalities um, and sometimes there's a spiritual lesson involved in um, their situation and your situation. There's a spiritual lesson involved um, and you're having to work out, you know, what is their game? You know, what are they doing? Why are they doing what they're doing right now? OK, so there you go. That's what I see for Leo's. OK, for um, this next week. Okay, let's see what's going on emotionally. What lesson are you learning emotionally? Do 
okay trust okay um the biggest lesson that you'll be learning here is about trust now you did have this seven of swords the seven of swords can be you know maybe trusting somebody too much or you know um you know at the at the end of the day sometimes it's it's like knowing a gut feeling when you are when you should trust somebody and perhaps when that person could you know let you down or you know not be the person that you was expecting them to be you know sometimes we need to kind of you know be realistic and it's not nice when you're spiritual you don't want to think the worst of somebody we really don't um but unfortunately i think there's going to be a time of this next week where you're going to have to you know um have your trust tested okay so let's Go to Sagittarius. Okay, so I have um, Sagittarius moon. So, mm -hmm. right. So, lots of energy again. Sagittarius. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords. King of Wands, all these kings coming out, and the Eight of Swords. So, this character is like my, my um, Aquarian energy. There's somebody who um, is fun, and um, they can be a little bit quirky with, with their sense of humor. You never quite know what they're going to get up to next or what they're going to say next. Um, but there's never a dull moment and they make you laugh. They make you feel as if there is um, in only today, think about today. Um, so, you know, that personality is going to be around you. It could be your acting a bit like that at this time. There is a character also who is a bit of a, a go-getter in life, all right? they When they want something, they want something. And when they put their mind to it they usually get it as well they are an achiever and um, they are somebody who does not um, take second best they won't be second best to anybody um, they are very very sure of themselves um, we also have the eight of swords now we've had the eight of swords in the other deck where there's a lady in the mirror see what she looks like really um, there's no uh, there was no um, restriction around her but in the mirror when she looked in the mirror there was all these bound things now, this is the same kind of concept um you know she is um got a blindfold on she's got her hands tied but she's got all these wonderful swords and these swords could cut the um the ties to her hands um if she was uh, really wanting to get out of that situation um so sometimes we pretend that we are unhappy um you know, maybe we're not that unhappy, otherwise we would have got out of the situation. Um, you know, it could mean the opposite. Sometimes it's like, you know, if you are that unhappy, then it is time. Stop making excuses, you know. It's time to decide. It's time to make that choice, okay. So, you know, there is a, a character definitely around this situation who is very fun-loving, I feel as if they tend to kind of, you know, just, uh, you know, make people laugh and, you know, and, uh, you know, be very playful with their energies. And, uh, you know, and that's nice. Um, but, uh, you know, is that person helping you? Is that person making you feel as if you can rely on them? Are they committed and um, taking you seriously? Okay. Um, but uh, we've also got this you know, I'm a 
Jiva and I want what I want, you know. So, you know, your hands are tied. You know, it's time for you to sometimes pick a side. So you kind of um, direct your energies into that right direction of life um, and not keep holding back and make excuses for yourself. Get the fire in your belly. Okay, it is time. So beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, you've got the two of pentacles. The king of pentacles. How many kings have you had in this reading here? Um, and the four card. Um, well, the kings came out in the other deck as well, didn't they? So it's like when all the kings start to come out in a reading, when I'm doing astrology for the, for the week, with all the kings, it means that the top players are in play. So watch out for world leaders um, and changes with world leaders, people, um, you know, stepping down, um, things happening around kind of the boss energy, you know, the, the big players in the game of life. Watch out for lots of changes. So self-employed kind of energy here or wanting to be your own boss, um, juggling about money and finances and making um, something happen quickly. So the four card is a sudden change. It's linking to money again. And there will be a, a change of financial situation. So once again, these cards all indicate that it could be the change of the financial system with these three cards. You know, um, this is um, a leader to do with money um, or somebody who is very, very good with their finances or a good boss. OK, good boss energy. You know, you know, you've then got the, you know, it's all going to happen suddenly. The four card is about trusting, stepping off the edge into the unknown and just doing it, making it happen. Very, very positive cards there. OK, for the middle of the week for Sagittarius. OK, the three of wands. The three of swords. And the temperance. Okay, so as I look at the, these cards, you've got two threes. Threes are celebrations. Threes are kind of initial um, completion of something. Okay, um, but more to come. Um, this is the most sarcastic card in the deck, uh, which is just get on with it. Go to the heart of the matter and get on with it. Deal with it. Okay, but it does is a very direct card. And it does that there's no wishy washiness about the three of swords. OK, it it means do it or get the job done. Um, the three of wands is about celebration of achievement. I've done that. I'm ready to go on to the next phase, the next level. So it's like um, a financial situation or an ambition has gone from here gone up okay a level um you know it's like wow okay um so things are really starting to move on now um the temperance is is um getting the balance right it's making sure that everything is right that everything is balanced and happy everybody in life is balanced and happy and feeling as though everything is right for you um and exciting exciting times um, so, yeah, it's like, get on with it. You know, whatever you say you want to change, um, it's like, go for it. So if you've succeeded, the next level up is is getting planned and ready for you. Sometimes we have to make sure that you are happy in the process. OK, so there you go. So let's have a look emotionally at what lessons you're going to be learning, Sagittarius. So the lesson that you're going to be learning is joining. 
sometimes we have to join a person to make things happen you know meet, meet someone halfway you know a fair-minded person or someone who's got just as much to give you as you've got to give them sometimes it can be a romantic kind of meeting you know a date or you know it's like a, a meet of like-minded souls and like-minded energy it's a very very lovely card um so i feel as if i need to pull another one um so sometimes it's like we're on our own mission um and spirit know what our mission is but it's sometimes nice to have somebody in the seat next to us who is um willing and able um to to come along for the ride okay and uh, you never know their mission might be connected to your mission uh, wouldn't it be nice um i know that doesn't happen all the time i'm lucky enough to have somebody who um is on the same mission as me um so but this indicates the same you know meeting of somebody like ended somebody who is there for you yeah so there we are so sagittarius um yeah it's a uh, there's definitely no wishy-washy energy this week going on is there um not with any of the signs at all mm. so aries okay let's give them a good good shuffle okay good shuffle there. so let's see what's happening with our aryan people One, two, three. Oh, five of pentacles can mean having a spend up. It can mean losing money as well. Let's see what else we've got. So we have the moon card. Sometimes it's seeing things from another point of view, another kind of um you know we wasn't expecting something or that was that was different to what i thought and then we have the four of wands which is success so this look at this cut this together um this indicates that there is a um something that's cost you maybe some money um you know you spent out on something um something to do with your ambitions because we've got the wand okay so um you you know you've invested time and energy or money and energy into a project um you've learned some very vital lessons good and bad you've learned vital lessons and success is now yours so this card it's like you know a feeling of you know we did it you know let's uh, rejoice in, in what what we've achieved okay so um there could have been a wary situation a fear of maybe losing more money than you actually did you know and everything seems to be working out very well okay so that's the beginning of the week so the middle of the week the five of cups the king of cups and the seven of swords so with the seven of swords we know this is about protection it's about somebody trying to take something from us the king of cups is about putting a hard front on maybe being a bit protective of yourself and your loved ones and the five of cups sometimes it feels as if i'm exhausted by all of this emotional drama please give me a break okay um, so looking at the three cards together, is somebody tr trying to steal your energy? Is somebody trying to steal your love? Is somebody trying to steal anything from you? Um, and maybe you do need to toughen up. Maybe you do need to kind of make a stand and say, hey, no, that's not on. No, 
I'm not letting you do that anymore. I've decided that this is going to happen. So it's very, very strong kind of energy I'm seeing here. Um, you know, so this to me says you've had enough. You've had enough of someone else using you, making you feel worthless, either by their thoughts, by their actions, or by their words. You know, because when you're psychic, you can read somebody's thoughts. Um, I've actually, in the past, um, had arguments with uh, partners in the past. It's like, I know that that's what you were thinking. You know, that's out of order. And it's like, well, how do you know what I was thinking? Uh, and I would then say what, what it was. And they'd, they'd look at me with a smirk on their face. It's like, see, I know. You know, so um, being psychic, you know, is sometimes good, but sometimes it can play havoc. Okay, so, you know, you know, that was in the past. But, you know, this is this to me is like somebody is taking something from you. You're not impressed. That to me says you're going to do something about it this week. Okay, that's the middle of the week for you. Aries. By the end of the week, you've got the two of pentacles. Oh, that's a heavy load on your shoulders. And then you've got another king. Can you see all the kings coming out here? Guys, that means the top players in this global prediction energy is really coming about. Okay, it's really happening. So this is about money changing. We've got the rainbow, so I wonder if it is the rainbow currency. People sometimes say it's the rainbow currency. Sometimes we feel if we've kind of got a heavy load on our shoulders that we've taken on too much, you know, or maybe the whole situation is a bit overwhelming there. There is somebody who is self-employed or somebody who knows their situation. They know that it is that they want they know what they deserve okay um so this person doesn't take any um any crap from anybody you know um but they do it in a very kind and careful way you know they are not afraid to stand up for themselves um especially if they're feeling as if um hey why am i carrying everything um, and everyone else is off enjoying themselves hey that's that's not fair so sometimes it's about delegation needing to delegate needing to start to say hey you know could you give us a hand or you know um you know i want to rest up as well um so yeah so it's about really taking charge of your life areas um and uh, and literally you're just not going to take any crap i feel um from people so aries let's have a look at the emotions that you've got going on here all right so you've got the the roles sometimes the roles that we play are important and sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves and say am i mothering other people too much or fathering other people too much are other people hiding behind me? Um, maybe it's time for them to stand up and start taking some responsibility of their own, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's about, you know, who plays what role, when, where, and how. So, there you go. That's all the fire signs. So, we're going into what's left with the water signs now. All right, so let's go. So we're going to be doing Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. So I'm going to change the deck back to my original deck, the Cosmic deck. Okay, so back to this one. So I'm going to give these a good, good shuffle. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because a lot of the same cards came up again, let's see if my hands are big enough of these cards I'm sure they are but I'll do my best okay so we're giving those a good 
shuffle. All right, so pulling lots of energy in. Scorpio, Scorpios. So my daughter Rihanna is a Scorpio. So hello, my darling. She's not been feeling very well as well. Sort of cold. So, all right, so Scorpio. One, two. Right. So um, that could be a meeting, okay? Meeting can be, you know, um, an interview for a job. It could mean a date, an appointment that you need to have. The Ten of Cups is a, a very good meeting, okay? It's gone very well. But there has been some nagging, you know, some information that has come to you that you didn't want to hear. Um, I'll show you the card. You can see he's got his hands over his ears. So it could mean, you know, maybe somebody that you care about is, uh, is there's a meeting, um, or there's a doctor, so it's a bank manager. It's like for the well-being of the person and they're not listening, okay? Um, it could mean that the doctors aren't listening. Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of frustration energy here. Okay, so it's like, you know, needing something to work out well and trying to have faith and stay positive. But we've got this kind of like nagging kind of energy. And uh, it's like the nagging is going over the head of the person okay so that's the beginning of the week by the middle of the week for Scorpios you've got the Pisces energy so this is somebody um, we've got the fish here this is why I like the cosmic cards as a first deck for you because it's all done for you you see the personalities I've got these astrology signs already so yeah this is um, a need to kind of it's like a magnetic personality it's like um sometimes we put a smile on our face and everything's fine and don't worry about it you know don't worry about me it's all good it's all good and the secrets secrecy secrets keeping things to yourself or to themselves and there's the reuniting kind of energy reuniting with somebody from the past um kind of somebody from the past coming back into your life or into their life and uh, causing issues causing decisions and uh, and uh, needing to to know more um, about um, a particular person that we care about it's like, it's like I'm ready to learn more about that I'm ready to find out what needs to happen now okay so there is a strong kind of feeling of, um, you know, you know, the universe is holding back, or or perhaps that person is holding back um, in giving the right information. Okay, so that's the middle of the week for Scorpios. The end of the week, you've got the. This is the Virgo character. Um, it's usually about rerouting or moving. The Two of Pentacles. Stepping onto new ground, maybe trying something different. And we've had the two of pentacles quite a lot in the other cards. And then we have the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is financial, um, windfall, or financially things turning out better than you thought. You know, I mean, financially, this is like, you know, look at what we've got. Um, look at what the situation is here. There seems to be a transference of money. Um, I could start thinking ahead in the long term, making long term plans. And after I've done the long term plans, everything else seems to just fit into place nicely. But I can see training, learning new skills, baby. Also, you know, 
wanting to develop yourself okay um so that's what's going on um for scorpios um so let's have a look emotionally scorpios scorpio scorpios what lesson are you learning this week it's about neediness um sometimes people are frightened to be needy sometimes people are hiding behind i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine rather than ask for help um if if you're feeling as if i don't want to be needy i don't want to ask for help from other people so somebody around you is uh, struggling with that whether that's you or whether that is somebody that um, you care about but uh, this is maybe somebody asking a favor um, sometimes this can be a person who can can do what they need to do themselves but they keep asking other people for help okay and sometimes that is uh, you know causing issues okay um, I felt as if I needed to turn another card over um, so this card indicates that somebody is feeling as though they are paged and they need time out um, so this sometimes can be have some fun as much as possible um, you know you need to be able to get out um, and uh, live a bit um, you know otherwise we start to feel as if the walls are kind of closing in at us don't we okay so that is Scorpio's Pisces now So Pisces, this is um, me and my mum. Mum's birthday was um, a week Thursday ago and mine was um, on Saturday. Okay, so putting in lots of energy for Pisces. All right, so one, two, three. All right, so five of pentacles can mean having a spend up. Two of cups means meeting somebody um, of great importance. And then we have the five of wands. Now the two fives can't say they're great cards, especially together. Um, the two of cups means there is a new person around a new energy around okay um so this can mean having a spend up or it can mean you know financially things being a bit hard okay at this time um having a few battles or needing to battle through maybe this financial this financial um situation maybe there needs to be you know working with somebody new you know or trying something new maybe you know, involving new people in your life, you know, um, seeing what else can be done, okay? So whenever we get um, a timeline that is a little bit kind of, you know, not so great, we can use another deck um, to see if we can change that timeline. So let's have a go, okay? I'm going to start to manifest. I would like everybody who is a Pisces or Pisces in their chart and um, to start to order and say thank you universe for bringing me financial security i have abundance galore um i'm enjoying life right now okay and start to feel that energy of financial security excitement of no cares no worries about it hold on to that energy and um, let's see if we can change the beginning of you know sometimes we can't sometimes it is a timeline that's fixed this is what we call timeline weaving okay picking the best timeline and concentrating on it so we've got the ace of cups so sometimes the ace of cups is about you know feeling emotional okay lots of emotions rising to the surface now the wheel of fortune does indicate change 
okay it does indicate change and there you go the justice card so yes this can be changed for the better um visualize that you deserve financial security so think about all the good deeds that you've done in your past not for any gain whatsoever but just to make people feel happy just to make people feel as though they are loved they are helped um, how many times have you done that in the past and i'm waiting to pause so that you answer and now I want you in your heart to say, thank you universe for bringing me what I deserve. And that is to do with financial security. It's linking to happiness and it's linking to, you know, abundance, okay? So yeah, he was able to change that um, just with your positive thinking. Beginning of the week for Pisces. By the middle of the week, you have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Wouldn't surprise me if somebody is single out there and they are not going on a date here. Okay, these cards would indicate a date that was actually going very well. In fact, it could be love lust, it could be, you know, um, very much a celebration of love, you know, intensity, happiness, okay? We have the meeting card, the Four of Pentacles. Um, we have the feeling um, good about yourself, feeling, um, you know, as if everything is um, in harmony and, and is good. And you have the celebration of, you know, love, okay? So these three cards together are very positive emotional cards okay so there you go um oh let me give you the other scenario so if you're not in a relationship okay you know um if you're already in a sorry if you're already in a relationship then this means a boost within your existing relationship this can also mean a celebration of love meaning this could be a party a birthday you know celebration of love energy around your friendships um, family members or something um, bright and beautiful okay but it would be something that you would plan um, you'd put it in a diary you'd write it in and in your um, your calendar okay so this would be a planned something okay so that is the middle of the week for Pisces the end of the week is sarcastic deal with it this is the, I want a spark in my life. And then you have um, the Sagittarius energy. Um, Sagittarius, they kind of have, they're an archer. So they'll fire their arrow into their target of what they want. And they will not be um, manipulated or come off their target. They would go straight for what it is that they want and desire and deserve and uh, this is a very very positive kind of um energy here so you are not holding back anymore um you've decided what it is that you want how you're going to get it um, and you're going to make it happen all right so um you know pisces you're going to be feeling you know there's no wishy-washiness about you you're going to be very vibrating on a fire energy um and you know the deal with it you know it's getting on with things you know yeah so um that's what i see for the end of next week for you emotionally pisces emotionally past life energy okay so you're dealing with a lot of karmic stuff you know stuff from your past that needs to be addressed and sorted out you know a lot of the things that you have agreed to here on the earth plane are playing out in front of you at the moment and there are times that you feel um as if you know 
there seems to be friendships or situations around you that have got far deeper consequences than um, just kind of like an everyday situation. All right. So that's what I see for Pisces. So, guys, we're going to finish off with Cancer. Okay. So the Cancerians. Cancerians. Um, this is my daughter, Megan. Um, so this is for um, other Cancerians as well. So I'm going to put some wonderful energy into the cards. And we're going to build it up. Oh, there seems to be some other cards in there as well. So let's get those out. Okay. So. One. Two. Three. Eight of Cups, emotionally letting go, temperance, trying to keep the balance, and the um, the King of Wands. Okay, so this is the Aries energy. So once again, there's a fired up energy around the water sign. So water signs seem to be really pushing things um, to new di new dimensions and new energies, um, which is brilliant. It really is. So um, you're still doing it, even if you're fired up. You're still doing it with balance. You're still trying to please people. You're still trying to make sure that every everybody is okay um, and that you, they're not feeling um, cheated. Um, but sometimes in life we have to let go of certain people, or certain edges. They are too much or too overwhelming um, for us okay there's a need to get to the bottom of you know um, deep set emotions we had the past life card um, and I do feel as if I'm um, reiterating the past life energy alongside cancerians as well um, that there there are past life energies that are coming out in the water signs um, particularly this week okay but trying to keep the balance trying to please everybody but uh understanding that that bigger and better things are on their way uh, and you're just getting on with it all right so that is the beginning of um, the week so by the end of the week you have um this is the okay, pregnancy it can be fertility can be a motherly card or a mother figure the home and battles okay so if you are living with a character who is motherly nurturing um or they can nag like a mum okay so um there seems to be a little bit of a battle situation going on with the week um, with cancerians now if you've got children this could be to do with your children um to do with people who are living in your home you know and there seems to be some issues here um i can see um a need to kind of keep the balance you know um sometimes we just want to go in our shell and um and hold back you know and, and not deal with all of this kind of drama um but, you know, something does need to be addressed here. Okay, so that's the middle of the week for Cancerians. All right, so the end of the week, the Two of Cups. So that's meeting somebody significant. The Four of Cups, which is a little bit of emotional doubt. Going on. I'm not so sure there's something about this person that I'm not sure about and then there's the full card which is you know going with your gut feeling so sometimes we have to go with gut feeling sometimes that's all we've got sometimes we have to react um you know in the of the moment 
kind of energy that we let see into our lives who are, you know, no good. And so sometimes we have to, you know, we to ourselves, are we being judgmental here um, by not wanting to be around certain people? You know, but sometimes there is a reason, you know. Um, but the full card is so that it happened quite quickly. Um, you're having doubts about new character that maybe has been introduced to you. Um, maybe there's someone else's new partner. And you've got that feeling of, I'm not so sure about them. Um, you know, something's not quite right. You know, um, we all have our own opinions. And uh, sometimes, you know, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But at the same time, um, we don't have to be around them. You know, sometimes we have to say, you know, it's uh, okay that I don't want to be around them. All right, so let's have a look at emotional lessons this week, Cancerians. Okay, so your lesson this week is the shamanic, no, so the, um, the gift. So sometimes somebody is given to us like a gift. Um, so you know, is, is there a character in your life that you feel very blessed to have and that you're in that appreciation energy? You know, um, I'm so happy that you've been given to me. You're like a gift to me, you know? So sometimes we have to show signs of gratitude. Sometimes we have to show signs of affection um, with people that we care about. Um, and I do feel that uh, you're becoming more and more open with your emotions um, and coming outside of your shell a little bit, you know, and, uh, you know, talking about appreciation for, you know, those people that you care about. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today um, with the uh, readings. And, um, you know, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I do when we, um, we're we able to go live and chat back and forth. I do like that. Um, but I uh, hope next week it'll be back to normal. And uh, Greg and I will be doing global predictions. Um, hopefully tomorrow, all being well. Um, and, um, yeah, so if you've got any questions that you want to ask Greg and I and um, then yeah have a um, have a think about what it is that you want to know you know and uh, just message me and Greg okay hopefully see you tomorrow and um, take care and um, just it's been it's been lovely and here comes Mo just to burn his tail again anyway I'm going quickly before that happens